a few other things to note. So let's just take out all of these constraints. If you have no constraints, it will just return all the data. So let's clear this, hit run. So you can see it's actually returned quite a lot of data. Now you might be wondering if, you, if you've got a keen eye, you might have noticed that in the PARS dashboard, we have about 527 players. Whereas looking at the console on the right hand side, it's quite clear that there's not 527 players returned. There's only, well, there's only 100. That's because the default size of a result set from PARS is 100. Okay, you can increase it using the limit command. You can only increase it to 1000 though. So now if I click run, actually instead of that, let's just uh, let's just print out the size. So let's hit run. Okay, so now we see we got 527 players returned. If this was 200 limit, clear run, then only 200 results would be returned. Okay, what if you have data sets greater than a thousand, or if what if you just want to page through the data sets as small a size as possible? Well, what you can use is then also the skip function. This is how you might perform pagination. So what this is saying is return 100 records starting from record zero. So then if I run this, it's gonna run 100. And then what you can say is actually now return as the next 100 records starting from position 100. In fact, let's just do this. Let's console log ID. And then if we were to skip 200 and then 300. So you can imagine then this is how you might implement some form of pagination where you have some code that returns 100 results. Then on page two, you would then skip the first 100 and get the next 100. Page three, skip the first 200, get the next 100. So that's a useful feature, a very useful feature, very important feature because the limit you have is 1,000. So you all, if you if you want to return data sets larger than 1,000, you'll always have to use skip to skip to the next page of data. So that's the basics of querying. We've touched on get in a previous lecture. I then explained find. I then explained first. I, I showed you a few constraints: the equal to, the less than. I then showed you you could perform ordering with descending or, or ascending. And I then showed you how to paginate through your data with the limit and skip functions.